boom what's going on guys it's your boy daily dust loves so quick little update i know you guys have probably seen the colorado videos by now but let me tell you guys a short little story um I'm trying to make this keep it under five minutes so apologize the lighting in here is like super yellow fluorescent from our uh dinner table lighting and whatnot so apologize for the color but um the reason i was actually wanting to make this video is one thing i didn't put in my videos that I wanted to talk about was during the trip uh, there was a time when I was working trying to get some things out of the trailer and I didn't want to break my watch so what I ended up doing was during this process when I was trying to adjust some things in the trailer on the trail I ended up taking my watch off I set it on top of my tent which is on top of the trailer and I got everything situated in my trailer as trying as I was trying to do and closed the trailer and got back in the forerunner and we started riding again so in the process of doing so my phone was alerting me that my watch was not connected I kind of just blew it off and then as we continued to drive down on the trail I realized that I did not have a watch and try to find it can not find it and just kind of lost hope of finding it right so that's kind of the situation, right? But what I really wanted to talk about was while I had thought I'd lost a watch and you know I had kind of lost hope, you know, I have insurance on it. I was gonna do an insurance claim when I got back to home and whatever, right? But uh, a couple days into our trip, actually on our way home from the trip, I got an email from a gentleman by the name of Scott. So I'll say this, I don't think, uh, apologize for the noise, the cat's trying to grab a moth in the house, I think. And, uh, on the way home, I got an email from a gentleman by the name of Scott. Said that he had found something of mine, and if he knew what it was, if I knew what it was, if I could describe it to him, that he would ship it back to me or mail it to me. I should say, right? So at that point, I immediately said, "It has got to be my watch he's found, right?" Because that's the only thing that I could have thought that I had lost, right? So we uh, conversated over email, and I gave him my address. He ended up uh, mailing me my watch. So. The reason I'm making this video is not so much because of the fact that I found my watch, but more so because I wanted to thank Scott, man, for one, being a good person, right? I'm sure, you know, I don't, irresponsibly, or responsibly, I guess, I don't know, don't keep a lock on my watch. Um, and I didn't lock it, um, you know, because typically it's always on my wrist or charging. So I didn't find, I, you know, lost it and had no intentions of. I didn't think I was going to get it back, I should say. And um, I really just wanted to say thank you to Scott if you watch this. He probably doesn't even know I have a YouTube channel. He's just a good person. And um, really, the purpose of this video was just to thank Scott for just being a good person, right? Um, you know, I think, I you know, I hate to say it, you know, some people probably would have took the watch, maybe try to reset it and sell it and or keep it to themselves, right? Uh, and I don't blame him, my irresponsibility of not locking it, of losing it. Um, maybe I would have deserved that, right? But uh, Scott, on the other hand, found it. Um, I'm going to assume he charged it, he found a way to charge it. You know, if it, unless it had battery the whole time, it was from the time when he found it to when I had lost it. Um, he charged it. He took time out of his day, which he didn't have to do at all, right? Uh, and he f found my... Uh, email on my watch and he emailed me and took time out of his day to do that took time out of his day to respond to me in emails and then took time out of his day to mail it back and um, do all that right so the purpose of, again the purpose of the video is one to thank Scott and then two to know that there's good people out there still and that's awesome you know now in today's world um, you know you want to give everybody the benefit of the doubt and whatnot but um it's just awesome to see that somebody was willing to find the watch. Or not, I will not say willing, but was willing to take time out of the day to help figure out who the watch belonged to and do all that just to mail it back, right? Um, I don't know the gentleman. I've never met him. Um, but if you end up watching this or if someone knows Scott somehow and uh, through the channel watches it and finds out who he is, um, I owe you a beer if you drink a beer. If you don't drink a beer, whatever, man, uh, whatever your preference, I owe you uh, a dinner, man. Um, I appreciate it. I mean, you saved me 
some money. Didn't have to do an insurance claim. Didn't have to go buy a new watch. And uh, I just appreciate you uh, restoring faith, you know, and uh, knowing that there's good people out there, you know. Uh, not that I had lost faith, but it's always awesome to to be on the receiving end. Um, so, pay it forward is really my goal now, you know, right? Um, but this video is over five minutes now, so try to keep it short. Um, again, thanks again, Scott, for helping me connect back with my watch. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. Um, but again, uh, appreciate you taking time out of your day, man, to do that. Um, you probably won't even ever watch this video. Probably don't even know this video exists, but uh, I appreciate it, man, for reals. But um, as y'all seen, I'm going back to bed. We're not going back to bed. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, but I just figured, um, if anything, I'd give Scott a shout out. And um, again, kudos, man. Appreciate you. Much love. I'll see y'all around, though. Peace.